hello everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video it's going to be all about the level two heroes for both resistance and the confederation named scion and salamander now of course this is going to be a reaction video if you happen to be new to my channel make sure to subscribe smash the like button and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content similar to this one also i mean it's gonna be my first time watching the whole trailer itself so it's gonna be legit okay let, let's see the trailer and see how these heroes perform okay so nasty tracks Okay, all right, um, <clears throat> all right, so guys, we already have a winner. <laughs> Do I even have to react on this video, like seriously? Okay, so, I mean, for the sake of reacting, let's go and do this step by step, okay? So I have plenty of questions here for about the heroes. Okay, so first up is the Salamander. Okay, so this guy is apparently the Salamander, and uh, I mean, the Scion is the Control Maniac Freak. Okay, let's go. Okay, it can go on the ocean, alright? So it needs kind of like this shore, you know, that curvature there near the shore where Delta Solaris uh, can move on between land and water. Okay, to go on water as well. Okay, kind of look at it there. So, from the looks of it, it kind of resembles a Barracuda on stealth mode. So, yeah. And if you may have noticed, the the movement speed, though, is kind of looking like similar to a Kaiman. Well, I kind of wish it was. Okay. Fires Barracuda rockets. Uh, um, I mean, I'm assuming it's the Barracuda rockets and or whatever, similar to a torrent. Okay, quite effective against buildings. But here's the big question. That Solaris popped out. Is that like a ballistic missile or something? I don't know, man. Like, seriously, it kind of resembles the nuclear animation of the Leviathan. Although I'm not exactly sure. Boo! Dude! <laughs> a, a tier 2 hero that one shots another tier 2 hero. And we all know how tough a Seraphim is, right? So just imagine how impactful that missile can be. I'm, I'm, I mean, I mean, just in my head, it it is like a s compact nuclear in... Straight up, boom, whoop up your ass. <clears throat> okay, we see here that this guy, Salamander, actually fires on the move. But I highly think that it has accurate, accuracy issues similar to that of a Torrent or a Barracuda or a Poseidon for that matter. But it is on the move, which gives it an edge. Although, movement speed-wise... I think the Solaris is faster on land. Okay. So, I mean, from just the looks of it, there's like that, this heart, no, cross icon, the green cross icon, and like a shield right here. 
So I think it kind of insinuates, you know, like damage reduction and increased health regeneration or heal. I'm not exactly sure how that works, though. Okay, let's uh, move forward. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It kind of outruns the Solaris here. Wow, this, this Maniac is also crazy. So um, I, I think he is better fit for Surgical Strikes. And we've seen from the previous teaser of the heroes that this kind of Maniac, one-shot Maniac, is just one-shotting Vikings, a Seraphim, a Shield Generator. Well, basically, if it can one-shot a Seraphim and or a Viking, it can basically one-shot a Shield Generator as well with low-key damage, right? Hmm. Okay. Beholder, obviously. Dodge this if you can. Okay, so even if the active of the Beholder is, or passive of the Beholder activates, once you're locked in to attack that thing, it kind of is dead because it's already locked up. Okay, I mean, that's, that's insane. Although my question is, you know, what is the rate of fire? Um, from what I can see, it's not really that great. Um, maybe I can estimate like around 9.5 or 10 at best. Okay. Um, also, one thing to mention is accuracy. So I'm actually thinking that this guy is, you know, quite effective when it comes to, you know, like quite effective when it comes to um, uh, AOE or area of effect damage, you know, similar in... Uh, Kind of good, kind of good. Now, here's the mind control freak guy. All right, so just look at it. Not gonna lie, that looks cool, man. Just look, it kind of resembles like, I don't know, a charging ray gun or whatever. And it kind of changes form too when it charges that. And then the blast. Just look at the skill. Okay. We got a zombie here. <laughs> okay. So, again. Uh, just want to point out that the skill's radius is actually larger or, well, higher than that of the Jaguar. Because of the Jaguars aren't firing back at that thing. Where in which normally if it's within range of the Jaguar, which is 9... And it boosted 10, so this guy must have like 11 radius, 11 skill radius, or 11.5 or 12. I'm not sure. Okay, I saw one of the comments on Facebook where in which this thing cannot really um, control avia or helicopters or whatever. I'm not exactly sure if this applies to Hawks or Albatross. Or any heroes of the resistance for that matter. So, I mean, if you if you think about it, the armadillo is still there in the Jaguar. So it means to say that those things don't even die over time. They just stay there for as long as they are alive or not destroyed by something. Okay. You, my friend, whoever thought of this. <laughs> okay. So... We see a Jaguar covered by the shield, uh, and the armadillo, and the, yeah, okay. Dragon flies here, although it's not covered by the shield, but still. Okay, guys, we saw this earlier, but. Okay, guys, let's go switch to Confederation. Okay, because this thing is possible for Confeds. All right, we can actually combine the shield and the chameleon. That answer, I mean, that, that, that question's been answered. Can you combine chameleon and shield together? The answer is yes. Hmm. Low clap. Just hands down, man. And this trailer actually gave me shivers, dude. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Dude. Just look. 
I mean, I know it may have been good against infantry, but I don't know about tanks where it was not shown. It can demolish infantries really fast. Well, those are infantries, but whatever, dude. It's still AOE. Damage to buildings, I think it's good if it's like emitting so high sound frequencies, which again can demolish matters. <laughs> Guys, okay, so this is kind of like the face off of both. 10 10. So it'll be released by 10, uh, the 10th of October. And uh, that shit is crazy, man. Okay, um, I have several questions, especially for the Scion or Sion or however you call it. Um, that hero, does that hero, if it captures the other units of the of the resistance does it consume command points that's one question do they die over time that's another question can they control tier 2 aviation like um hawks or albatross okay and can they also can it also control naval units such as caimans alligators and the uh, barracuda things of that nature I'm pretty sure that it can control resistance uh, infantry as well. I mean, why not, right? So yeah, I mean, dude, that 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 shit is insane. It is actually a big threat. So yeah, I mean, the salamander is kind of like a uh, super ninja gorilla kind of thing, especially when there is an ocean. It can launch a skill and basically one shot the seraphim under the shield or another viking and so on. And it can snipe like buildings like shipyards near the shore or whatever. I'm just not exactly sure if it can be detected by Vikings and or torpedoes as well. I think it's probably going to be the case. But we don't know, man. We don't know. All right. I mean, dude, that's going to be all for today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and share your thoughts as to what your comments. Um, You know, what, what do you think in general about this new heroes that are coming in this month of October? Also, if you're new, subscribe, smash the like button, and of course, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye.